Today, I'm going to be disassembling this 2020 Mercedes-Benz A-Class LED headlight. Here's the part number off of the headlight. I'm going to go ahead and remove the lens and then we will begin disassembly of this light. I have removed the lens, so now we can go ahead and begin disassembly of the rest of the light. In order to remove the front bezel, there are three T20 Torx screws. One, two, and three. There are two wire clips connecting the bezel to the rest of the light. There's a little clip holding this wire connector on. So you just want to use a pocket screwdriver to lift up on the clip in order to slide out the wire connector. With those two wire connectors removed, the bezel is now free from the rest of the light. In order to remove the LED drive unit, you just need to give it a pull and it will separate from the light bar. The next thing I'm going to do is remove two T20 screws here to access this drive unit. Next, I want to remove the wire clip from this drive unit. And just disconnect that and then pull the drive unit out of the light. Next, I'm going to remove the black and chrome bezel here by removing four T20 Torx screws. So I've removed the four T20 Torx screws, but before I can remove the black bezel, I actually have to remove this chrome trim around the projector. So I've already popped this out. But tucked away in there, this chrome trim has two tabs holding it in place. One bigger tab holding it on in the center and one smaller tab holding onto the outside. So you have to be careful to release this without breaking it. But once you have it released, then you can remove the, the rest of the black bezel. On the corner of the light is a black mounting tab. In order to release this, there are two plastic clips on each, one on each side. So I'm just going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to squeeze down on those two tabs and pull this inner bracket forward. And just like that, it will be released. Below the high beam reflector is a second of those black mounting clips. I'm gonna go ahead and release that one. Bottom mounting clips have been removed. I can now pull the whole projector assembly forward. There are two wire clips connected to this projector housing. One connected to the high beam and one connected to the low beam projector. I'm gonna go ahead and remove both of those and remove these three mounting clips. So with the wire harness disconnected, the LED projector and high beam are now free from the light. There are two T20 Torx screws holding the cooling fan in place. One here and one up here. There are a handful of wire harness clips holding the wire harness to the, the main housing. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab these and pull them off of the housing to release the rest of the wire harness. The last thing to do is to go to the rear of the housing, find the main wire harness connector, and there's a black plastic tab on both the top and bottom. You will just push, take a flathead screwdriver, push that down gently, and then push the connector into the housing. Okay. 
And then once you have that done, you can just push that straight in. And now our whole wire harness is free from the headlight. In order to remove the high beam reflector from the bracket, there are three T20 torque screws. In order to remove the projector from the bracket, there are two T20 screws on the bottom and a seven millimeter nut on the top. So with those three removed, here's the projector free from the bracket. Here are all the components disassembled from the light. This is the inner LED drive unit, which I believe is the turn signal. This is the outer LED drive unit, which I believe is the daytime running light. Here is the cooling fan for the headlight. This is the high beam LED drive unit. You can see here that they have plastic welded this to the reflector, so you can't remove this and put it back into place. And then here is the main LED projector unit disassembled. This is the projector LED drive unit. This is the clear unit that goes on top of the LED drive unit. Here's the projector lens. It is custom made from plastic. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.